everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul and tell me the size. Whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect, do I look fine? I'ma do my own thing. Look at my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I'm to my soul and tell me the size. Whenever the Are you ready to be entertained? Oh, let's get into another reaction of The Walking Dead, season one, episode two. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. You guys are showing up and showing out. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Mwah, kisses. Thank you to the subscribers who have been here. Mwah, kisses. And to everybody else in between that hasn't hit the subscribe button, why the hell not? Um, the first episode was a gag, honey. Um, people are super shocked that I've never seen The Walking Dead. I, I'm telling you, y'all, this, I remember I was at work. One of my coworkers, who's probably watching my reaction right now, he came up to me and was like, talking about, you, you never seen The Walking Dead? And I told him exactly what I said back then when I realized how long The Walking Dead was going on. And all my friends, my brother, they love this show. So I used to be like, well, how many seasons can you do of zombies? Like, I, I remember saying that. Um, I don't know why. And I, somebody did comment on the last reaction and said the show is not just about zombies. It deals with great, great characters, great storylines, and that's what I'm super excited for. Plus, I really do like zombies. Get close, secret secrets are no fun, so I must tell everyone. Um, but yes, I do like monsters, zombies, and that whole nine yards. Now, I don't, I think that I really just never watched this show because when it did come out in 2010, I think I said this on the first reaction, I will repeat it and then move right along to the reaction, why you guys clicked this reaction. Um, I think in 2010, I just moved to New York City. I'm almost positive. And this came out in 2010, right? Did I say seven? This came out in 2010. So I just moved here in 2010, almost positive in January. Um, and this came out in October. So the show just, it, once I went to New York City, honey, I went out and lived my best ever living life. So I just never watched the show. I Once again, I did hear about it. And now I'm very excited to go through the show with you guys. Now, I'm not sure if you guys didn't know. I also started watching Breaking Bad when I first started watching this channel. But Breaking Bad by that time had been out for a long time. So people were gagged that I never saw Breaking Bad either. I just did as and i'm an actor <laughs> to my own horn i'm an actor so it's crazy that i didn't see half these movies or half these tv shows but that's why i'm having the best time of my life being a reactor here on youtube and experiencing things these shows with you guys um and going on these journeys with a bunch of you guys i love it i love it i love it and that's why i'm doing it so once again thank you guys for being here don't forget to always comment on these videos because seriously you guys help me with the insight of what's going on in the story and you guys know i watch a million shows here on this platform so i will forget character names and i probably most likely will get lost because i'm dancing in the middle of my reaction now you want to see this in full reaction the links are down below once again don't forget to like share and comment without further ado Oh, let's jump into The Walking Dead and find out exactly what this show has got to give. Hey, is this the camp that we were at last time? Hey, I like following yeah. this lady's butt. <laughs> Ask Shane when he gets back? Yeah, you got it. Sweetheart, I want you to stay where Dale can see you, okay? Yes, Mom. Don't wander too far. Stay within shouting distance. And if you see anything, Holler. Now, why aren't the zombies here, y'all? Like, this lady is so confident just walking in the woods. Is it poison ivy in there? Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's what I care about. Oh, my God. I think there is poison ivy. Oh, Lord. She's super fucked. Hell out of me. I bet it's what you give keep me waiting. I was trying to be quiet. <clears throat> How much time we had? Enough. Not that much time. Just get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> that is her wedding ring? Oh, he's trapped in the tank. Oh 
they're still on the dead horse? Oh, no mercy. Alive in there? Oh, Lord. Hello, hello. Can you see me right now? Yeah, I can see you. You're surrounded by walkers. This good news? No. Listen, ah! got any advice for me? Yeah, I'd say make a run for it. There's one geek still up in the tank, but the others have climbed down and joined the feeding frenzy where the horse went down. You move now while they're distracted. You stand a chance. You got ammo? That helps. I got a Beretta with one clip, 15 rounds. Make them count. There's an alley up the street, maybe 50 yards. Be there. Really? You the new sheriff? Come riding in to clean up the town? Yeah, whatever. Yeehaw. You're still a dumbass. Oh no. Uh, it'll be the fall that kills us. I'm a glass half full kind of guy. You the one barricaded the alley? Somebody did. I guess when the city got overrun. Back at the Deep. tank, why'd you stick your neck out for me? Oh, that foolish, naive hope. Guess I'm an even bigger dumbass than you. Oh, that's the guy from, um, Beat, the movie, TV show. I'm back. Gotta guess. Plus four geeks in the alley. Geeks? Son of a bitch, we gotta kill you. Oh. We're dead because of this stupid asshole. Why? Andrew, Why? We're dead. All of us. Why are you guys dead? Because of you. You know what the kid is scavenging is? Surviving. You know what the kid is surviving? Sneaking in and out. Every geek for miles around heard you popping off rounds. You just rang the dinner bell. They call him geek. Yeah. Oh, what the hell are you doing up there anyway? Trying to flag the helicopter. Helicopter? What? Oh, what's that, no. Dixon? <laughs> come on, let's what? go. Every geek around the city is gonna come. Yes. Hey! You ought to be more polite to a man with a gun. All the common sense. Man, you waste the bullets <laughs> we ain't even got, man. I'm gonna take orders from you? <laughs> I don't think so, bro. That'll be the day. Got something you want to tell me? Hey, T-Dog, man, just go. Oh, it ain't worth it. It's the day, Mr. Yo. It's the day I take orders from a nigger. Oh, 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 Anybody else? Oh! oh! That's right! How are you, man? Officer friendly. I'm a shit inbred white trash fools either. Right! Only dark meat and white meat. I'll screw you twice. <laughs> I like a man with a gun. Only common sense. All I am anymore is a man looking for his wife and son. But he gets in the way of that's gonna lose. I'm mad I thought that black guy was some family matters. Like I am getting people to comment down below. What are you gonna do? Arrest me? If I get loose, you better pray! Yeah, you hear me, you pig! Well, officer friendly. <laughs> From up the road a ways. Welcome to the big city. God, it's like Tim Square down there. How's that signal? Keep trying. Why? There's nothing they can do. Not a damn thing. These streets ain't safe in this part of town from what I hear. You get me out of these cuffs, we go off somewhere and bump some uglies. Die anyway. I'd rather. Uh, what about under the streets, the sewers? Oh, man. A building like this built in the 20s, big structures often had drainage tunnels into the sewers in case of flood. I worked in the city's zoning office. There we go. I really scoped this place out the other times I was here. It's the only thing in the building that goes down. We'll be right behind you. No, you won't. Not you. Why not me? Till now, I always came here by myself. In and out. Grab a few things, no problem. You want me to go down this gnarly hole? Fine. But only if we do it my way. If I run into something, I have to get out quick. I don't want you all jammed up behind me, get me killed. You've got Merle's gun and I've seen you shoot. I'd feel better if you're out in that store watching those doors covering your ass. You be my wingman. Jackie stays here. That guy's like, I don't want to be your wingman. <laughs> don't nominate me. Good luck. Sorry for the gun in your face. 
It's okay. People do things when they're afraid. Here, so far. Next time, though, take the safety off. Good job. What's the name? your gun? It was a gift. Why? The little red dot means it's ready to fire. You may have occasion to use it. Bye. We're bored with you. <laughs> Anybody out there? Hope to hear somebody's voice, because I'm getting sick and tired of hearing mine. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. Why don't you pull your head out your ass? Maybe your headache will go away. You get me out of these cuffs, and I'll be all Sammy Sunshine positive for you. See a hacksaw over there? That tool bag? Get me out of these things. You can beat my ass again? Now, it wasn't personal. It's just that your kind and my kind ain't meant to mix. Damn. Work together, parlay, as long as there's some kind of mutual gain involved. I guess you want me to get that rifle over there, too, so you can shoot that cop when he comes back up, huh? <laughs> Ooh, I'd be so scared. Yeah, we got ourselves a sewer tunnel. <laughs> Damn, they're down there too. Be something you like? Not me, but I know someone who would. My sister. She loves mermaids. Oh. Why not take it? Be considered looting. Uh, girl. I don't think those rules apply anymore. Oh! What you find down there? Not a way out. We need to find a way. That construction site, those trucks, they always keep keys on hand. Never make it past the walkers. You got me out of that tank. Yeah, but they were feeding. Diversion. Like on Hogan's Hero. God, give it a rest. They're drawn by sound, right? Aside from they hear you, they see you, smell you, and if they catch you, they eat you. They smell dead, we don't. It's pretty distinct. <laughs> Wayne Dunlap, Georgia license. He had $28 in his pocket when he died. In a picture of a pretty girl. He used to be like us. Worrying about bills or the rent. If I ever find my family, I'm gonna tell them about Wayne. Oh, that was nice. One more thing. He's an organ donor. Oh. 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 I would throw up. Oh, my oh. 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 lord. <sighs> Don't get any on your skin or in your eye. Oh, they're putting it on themselves. I thought so. Think about something else. Puppies and kittens. Dead puppies and kittens. Do we smell like them? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Those two are only going to be the ones going to get the car. You gotta free him? Give me the axe. So they can see. Come on, talk to me, y'all! Base camp, this is Tito. Anybody hear me? That asshole's out on the street with a handcuff key. Ha ha ha. Is it a rain? No. The dead off of that. Yeah. Hell, are we gonna find a replacement? It's late. They should have been back by now. They're having sex. The ring won't make it better. And three, two, one, pull it. Oh. <laughs> Could just tie it like around your finger. Hello, hello. Reception's bad on this end. Repeat, repeat. Shane, is that you? T-Dog, repeat that last. Repeat. Oh, that's what they're with. He said the department store. I heard it too. We do not risk the rest of the group. Y'all know that. So we're just going to leave her there? This is not easy. She volunteered to go to help the rest of us. See, she's trapped. She's gone. She's my sister, you son of a bitch. Amy? Oh, wow. Ooh, you better. They can't run? Cause they'll notice. You know how cool it must be to be an extra? <laughs> Don't draw attention. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's hit the clockwork. We get him all the time, it'll pass real quick. Uh. 
smells washing off, isn't it? Is it washing off? No, it's off? not. They better leave my man alone from beef. Be Draw them away. Those roll up doors at the front of the store, that area, that's what I need cleared. They gave away how? I, I missed that part. Noise. Those roll up doors at the front of the store, facing the street. Me to Sarah, be ready. You can't leave me here. Yes, Bye. you can. Bye. Bye. Bye, man. You can't, man. It's not human. <laughs> Come on. Don't do this! Yeah. Yeah. Come on! God, that's it! Oh my god! Tito's doing the work! Look at that on purpose! I didn't mean to! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Tito, just stay there! At this point. Oh, Don't they're leave. just trying to come out. They're like, fuck T-Dog. Is there no saw around here? We saw the tools drop. I dropped the damn key. You started a fight, you lost, and you dropped the key when you're trying to help. <laughs> Where's Glenn? Right, where the hell is Glenn? Hi, Glenn. <laughs> we can have a lot of fun. This is a great episode. So I know that somebody's probably typing down below like, wait, you thought that guy was from Family Matters? I absolutely 100% did. I don't know, it looked just like him. After like he kept talking, I was like, oh yeah, that's totally not the guy from Family Matters. Um, and then for a brief second, I thought that the black lady uh, looked familiar too. I thought she was on like, um, another show that I used to watch. And I was like, oh, well, there's that. Um, but regardless, and then I saw, then I thought that the Asian guy was from, um, what show did I think it, The Goonies? But it could, is it? Uh, let me look it up. Let me look it up. Cause um, I, I wanna know. I don't think I, that's not him. That's not him at all. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. But he's definitely the guy from Beef. Um, <laughs> which is uh, the show on Netflix. And if I'm wrong about that, then honestly, pick me up and throw me away and don't throw away the key. Sort of like what happened to the guy who's stuck on the roof. So regardless, I really like this episode. We got more in. I love how this show ties in one characters or a bunch of characters from one area, ties in with the other characters, and you don't even think about it, but then once the show lets you know that they're all kind of entwined together, you're like, oh, that's cool. So like, there was that. I really did like that too. Um, so the sister's over here, the sister's over there. Now we're getting closer to going back to the camp. I wonder in the next episode, are we gonna get back to the camp and then um, the Punisher is gonna realize the woman he's sleeping with and AKA also his best friend is still alive. And what is going to happen with that situation? Oh, honey, you guys were right. It's not just about zombies. And then the racist guy. I feel like that racist guy is somehow going to survive. Why do I feel that? Because one, the show showed us the toolbox and how it all fell. Two, um, what was that guy's name? Satan locked up the door and I mean, he was a hot tolly ass mess. The guy was from Fender Matters. And then three, he seems like that racist guy was such, a, made such an impact on the very brief uh, five, 
five, ten minutes of him being on this, on this episode, that there's no way I feel like this show would throw away such a character like that. I think they established that this character is here, this character is probably gonna get away, he's probably gonna have one, uh, one hand, and there's that. And I'm looking forward to seeing him again. So, zombies were there, that was crazy. I was like, of course, the clouds would darken, the rain will fall, and you guys are in the middle of a bunch of dead people. So, there was that situation. I would've been like, screw it, damn it, Jesus! Like, I would be so mad. Mother Nature, I'm fighting you! Like, I would be pissed. Um, but in the, in the end of the this, this situation and this episode, um, the guy from Beef ended up getting a beautiful, beautiful car. By the way, I want to know, comment down below, the sister who was in the, the store, the blonde hair one, who was like, is this considered looting? Right away, 100%, she kind of irritated me. I'm kind I bet you because she irritated me, she's probably a fan favorite type of character. So. Let me know if I'm right. Is, is she a fan favorite? Because I generally hate all fan favorite type shows. People. Um, she seems like she's going to irritate me. There's, but I feel like there's room for growth. There's room for growth. So I did like this episode. I would give it a 9 if I was here to... Uh, 8.5 to a 9. Um, if you guys are asking to rate it. And this is my confirmation that we will continue on with Season 1 of The Walking Dead. By the way, when somebody put teeth... TWD. I was like, well, what the hell does this mean? And then I was like, oh, TWD means The Walking Dead. I was literally in bed being like, I don't know what, who am I saying? Welcome to TWD, The Walking Dead. Um, so as long as you guys keep showing up and showing out, we will continue on this season, the next season, the following season. And I did see that some people did say, or a couple of people said like they liked the later seasons. I do know that other people, I think my brother was one of the people who said after a certain season, um, he stopped watching it. And then my coworker also said that after certain seasons, he stopped watching the show too. So it seems like the fandom is kind of split. Um, but as long as you guys keep go showing up, as I said, we're going to continue watching every single episode as long as you're with me. Thank you guys so much for being here. Check out all my other reactions while you're here. And until next time, I'm off this. Around if they could, or even or right in the crime, saving your lives, one at a time. I'm killing the rhymes, I do it for the people. I'll be the fuck around and do the six for the bag.